um, I'm going to go ahead and I press record. So this is our large team call, which means we have a ton of um, rock star, epic, amazing teams on here. Um, my upline, Stephanie Richardson, has been a coach for 11 years, so pretty much as long as you've been able to be a coach. And so just think about the legacy that is here. Um, you guys, we are so blessed to have Luigi Grat. I'm just going to say it wrong. I wanted to say Graton. Graton? Okay. Graton. I wanted to make it fancier than it is. Graton or Graton. My dad, my dad passed away, God rest his soul, but he, would, he used to say Graton whenever he picked up the phone. Uh, but I was like, is that how you pronounce it? I guess he should know. He's my dad. But uh, yeah, so funny. I've heard all times. Well, I say my own first name wrong, and my mother finally corrected me and said, I didn't name you Lauren. I named you Lauren. And I was like, oh, well, I've been saying my name wrong my entire life. Sorry, Mom. So <laughs> Luigi joined us in November. Um, for those of you who got to go to leadership, we got to meet you there, I want to say. Like, that was your first appearance. It was really exciting. Um, to meet you. He um, is the Vice President of Nutritional Products. I have notes. See? I have okay. um, I think it's really cool that you're there in California. We have a lot of California babies here. I'm at UCLA Center for Human Nutrition. You have 15 years experience in direct selling and family. And I don't know how, about your experience, how many years as far as family me medicine and clinical nutrition, but you come to Beachbody with a really strong foundation, um, a lot of passion, and a lot of experience. And so I know for me that's super exciting because we do have a lot of people who have questions about why. Well, I want to know why you came to Beachbody. What was the reason that you chose Beachbody out of everything out there? Why were we bright and shiny? <laughs> it's a great question. And so you get thank you for the wonderful introduction and the great background. Um, I'm born and raised here in Los Angeles. I've been here pretty much all my life. Literally, I, I grew up about 20 minutes away from Beachbody headquarters. Now, everyone says in LA, you live 20 minutes away. That could be like two miles or 10 miles, depending on the traffic. But I was pretty close in the mid-central LA, the mid-Wilshire district. So if anyone knows California, you've been in LA. I'm really sort of in, in, the, in the thick of it, in the middle. Uh, I'm a local guy, went to UCLA. There's a university right up the street from Beachbody. That's where I did my undergraduate. I was a, a track and cross country runner. And this goes to your question, uh, Lauren, about why uh, Beachbody, because I was always an athlete in high school and college. Uh, I was uh, a middle distance runner. I ran the mile. Well, I ran the 800 meters, the 1500 meters. Uh, the mile, the steeplechase. I was always a, a middle distance and, and distance runner, but I loved sports and I loved performance nutrition. I loved to, to sort of drink shakes to see how my performance would increase or take magnesium supplements or fish oil to see if it would help with my joint health. So that's something I did way before medical school. I spent four years outside of California in New York City, which was crazy, but amazing place. I lived in Manhattan four years. And I always knew I wanted to come back to sunny California because that first winter, I don't know how many of you live where it snows, but all I needed was that first winter without a winter coat and no boots. And I quickly realized, not for me. And I loved it, but um, as soon as I could, I knew I wanted to have a family, have kids, and I wanted to raise kids in, in the environment where my, where my mom was and my brother and his wife and kids. So I'm back here in LA where I grew up. Along the way, I did after I finished my medical degree, because I went to Mount Sinai in New York, I got a family medicine uh, residency, which means you do your residency training, delivering babies, seeing adults, seeing children, doing a little surgery, doing a little pediatrics, you do everything. So I got my board certification in family medicine. Then here's the last part of it. I did one extra year in clinical nutrition. And the whole idea was clinical nutrition is how you can do medicine, but you're trying to find nutritional interventions for diabetes, high blood pressure, prostate cancer, breast cancer, anything that you think you can prevent or treat with nutritional interventions. That's another reason I wanted to come to Beachbody. So to make this long story short, I've had all this training. I was working in as a family medicine doctor at UCLA up the street, and I was also working in the, in the nutrition industry, as you said, over 13 years. And about six years ago, I started getting really interested in sustainable nutrition. And all that means is nutrition that can help sustain human beings as our planet continues to grow. Because right now we got about 7 billion people and a lot of folks in a lot of countries are having more kids and we're gonna have about 10 billion people. 
is going to be very hard to feed everybody with just steak and eggs. It's not going to work. So companies that are positioning themselves with good nutrition, with minimal food waste, good, healthy, clean protein that's good for the human body, good for children, uh, and healthy snacks, which we'll talk about, those are the companies that I was looking to join. And so when I saw the, the Shakeology, which I'd never seen, I'd never seen a shake like this, I immediately uh, called Michael Neiman, because I had worked with Michael 14 years ago at another company. I called him and I said, um, I don't know who made this shake, but I, I have to take you to lunch and figure out how'd you guys make this thing? I've never seen anything like this in the industry. Sacha Inchi Chia Flax, this is like my dream shake. And you did it and it tastes good. And I hear it selling like hotcakes. And that was like six, more than six years ago. So you guys hadn't even really grown fully to, to the maturation. So I told him, I'm really interested. I'm gonna watch your company. I'm gonna look for job openings. So that was a long time ago. And then I joined in November. So trying oh, to put that. My in. gosh, six years ago. Yeah, yeah, I was That's watching the company for a while. <laughs> crazy. But I think it's so cool that you were like, okay, I need in on this because I cannot, which is pretty much what we've been saying, like all of the commercials. I love the one that Tony does where he has the checkout, yeah. you know, and he's, he's racking up the price and all the things that you would go to like Whole Foods and buy. I have a bag of chia seeds and it costs like $20. My daughter picked the biggest bag. I was like, oh my gosh, but $20 for seeds. And they're in Shakeology, you know, and it's just like, ah, <laughs> so all of those ingredients. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And, it, and it tastes great. That's one of the things I think to your point, because that's a very commonly asked question, Lauren, a, a lot of people say, well, this is a premium shake. It's got a premium price. Why is that? To your point about the chia bag being $20. When you break down all those individual ingredients, and you know, a lot of, you know, in that, that Tony commercial, it's like $700, I think. Uh, but you try and average it out all the time. We figure it's going to be six, $700 at least in the US. If you have business in the UK, Canada, maybe closer to a thousand US dollars. And so that's one of the major reasons we think it's such a deal. But I think it's amazing because no one can blend the way we blend. And I'll talk about that later in the call. It's a really important thing to understand that we have a very specific recipe that's a secret blend only Beachbody has. That's why the shakes, I just had a chocolate vegan shake a little earlier. It tastes really good. And that's why you guys sell so much of it. A lot of companies can just copy what we have on the label. But then if they don't, they don't blend it, it's like making a stew and you just buy the ingredients, you can throw it all in the pot. That doesn't work. You have to do certain things, let it simmer, add the salt just the right time. So that's what we do with, with uh, Shakeology. It's a really important secret blend that we have. It's proprietary to just us. So we're going to hear a secret blend, everybody. We're just going to give us the secret about Shakeology. That's right. <laughs> I know that you have limited time and I know that um, we have we already have people asking a ton of questions and so we're going to pick your brain and okay, cool. we have totally have you on the hot seat, which is so mean, but hey, get ready. I so um, I'm working from the bottom up and I see Corey's question. It says, I want to know what sets Shakeology and the performance line apart. Great. Maybe kind of touch on that a little bit, but. Yeah, so great. And we'll get into performance too. And I got all the products. So I like to pick them out and sort of show them to you all. Uh, so first, let's start with Shakeology. And this is what we did at the new leader, the NLC, and uh, when you guys all came to LA, for those of you who did. And I'll try and do this a really quick and scaled down version. Um, I always say clean protein. What sets us apart is a lot of companies, even if you're buying a bag of another shake that's half the price, and you may see rice or pea protein, so you think, oh, that's the same. It's not. The thing that we do very well in Beachbody is that we have clean sourcing. A lot. And we're going to start talking about that more with Darren and Isabel. We're going to, we want to shoot some um, videos, training videos where Darren and Isabel walk you through clean sourcing, what that means. But we pay a premium in the company to send our, to send our um, in-house employees to go out to the suppliers. Nobody does this in the industry. Usually when a food company makes a bag of protein powder, they just order the ingredients from anywhere in the country or around the world, they get those ingredients, sugars, rice protein, pea, soy, whatever they buy, and they don't check to see what's in there. They just trust it's the same, they mix it up, and then they sell the bag for 60 bucks or less. 
Those are the competitors that you're, you're, you're hearing about from your customers. The truth is that we send our scientists out to Indonesia to check on the palm oil that we buy from the suppliers in Southeast Asia. Nobody's doing that. We fly our guy, Miguel, who I just talked to the other day, when he was in Indonesia, and he does the white glove test. He goes through the factory to make sure that their suppliers are, are clean. He goes to check and see that their palm oil is sustainably sourced, so they're not destroying any rainforests or endangered species. This is stuff that no one else does. So we're gonna start talking about this more, but I'd start with clean protein, okay? So a lot of rice and pea protein that other companies have in a $50 bag is filled with garbage. It's filled with fillers, heavy metals, toxins. We don't know what they're putting in there. We source ours from very clean sourcing. It's very important. Um, so number one, uh, and we're gonna have more on that for you in the form of, like I said, training videos. Number two, we look for organic sources of sweeteners. And I think this is a big uh, point because a lot of our competitors with that $60 bag of, of, of protein that we don't know where it's from with fillers, they use fructose or artificial sweeteners. Fructose, and when you see that on a label, it doesn't come from fruit, most likely. It's coming from genetically modified corn. Now, if you're okay with that, that's cool, but that's the reason why a lot of those shakes are much cheaper. They can buy really cheap, genetically modified corn. It's been sprayed with pesticides, herbicides. It's been sprayed with a lot of toxins, and it's usually genetically modified corn, uh, uh, soy, or wheat, or other types. They can even genetically modify um, beet sugar these days. It's a new thing they're doing, um, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So the chemicals that they spray on those GMO crops get into the sweeteners and get into the, the food supply. We don't want any of that. So that's why you're going to see organic cane sugar on your Shakeology, organic cane sugar in your daily sunshine, organic cane sugar in your performance products now, and you see organic cane sugar in the bars. What does that mean? The word organic guarantees that the farm that was producing that cane is non-genetically modified, no pesticides, herbicides, it's all organic farming by United States Department of Agricultural Standards. That's the law. And when you, when you buy sugar that says organic on it, it has to have that downstream process. So that's a huge part of confidence for us. And if you ask, um, so we did a training on, on the bars earlier today with another group, and they asked about Quest Bar. I said, Quest Bar, you know, I'm not gonna knock that bar, but look on the label, it has sucralose, that's that little packet of Splenda, that yellow packet, loaded with artificial sweetener, and it has aspartame. A lot of moms don't like NutraSweet anymore. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that when we go to Beach Bar, but for Shakeology, your question is why is it, is it above and beyond the best? Clean sources of protein, which are really amazing, Sugar, which is an organic source with a little bit of stevia, which is considered natural, wholesome. And what's very cool, Shakeology, Daily Sunshine, and The Bar are all low glycemic index. Now, you guys might say, what's a low glycemic index? Does that matter? People with diabetes usually look for foods with low glycemic index. So foods with a high glycemic index, a score of 100, that's like a, a can of soda. So if someone drinks a can of soda, the sugar goes up in their bloodstream. It's a very high GI score, very bad for the blood sugar. That means sugar is just coating their red blood cells and their eyes and their heart and their muscles, bad stuff. That's diabetes. We stay away from all that stuff. Things that with a low glycemic index, a score of about 40, like our Shakeology, Daily Sunshine, our bars, that means that the, sh the sugar, the sweeteners are slowly absorbed into the muscle tissue and into the body, slowly metabolized, and that's a good thing. That means sustained energy. People don't feel like awake and they fall asleep real quickly, like people with diabetes, so to speak. So that's why our shake is so important. We certify low glycemic index. I don't think, I can't think of any other shakes in the marketplace with a low glycemic index, low GI score. So please share that with your customers, okay? Clean protein, Low GI with organic sweeteners, or organic cane sugar. And I'll just say um, one more thing, and we'll keep it simple, is the, the, um, the fiber and the healthy fats. So fiber, I always say, really important. 
uh, to talk about. A lot of us don't talk about it enough. Um, when you're posting on Instagram and you're showing your before and after results, you know, I always say, um, mo you know, uh, Beachbody is mostly female. It's a female run company, so to speak. Women run this company. Women are pre predominant number of coaches are female. And when you post on Instagram a before and after picture, like my wife is doing 80 day obsession. I've known her over seven years. I've never seen abdominal muscles on her. Now she has them from 80 day obsession. I'm like, well, honey, that's, that's sexy. I, that's amazing. That's great, right? It's a family show, but I'm like, that's sexy. That's protein. That's the protein that you get that you're developing from the workout and the protein that you replenish with that clean protein from uh, Recover, that clean protein from Shakeology. My wife actually drinks Daily Sunshine after she gives it to our daughter. So that's the clean protein that gives you those muscle results. Fiber is not very sexy, I always say. Fiber is cool and interesting and it, get, it gets us to go to the bathroom once or twice a day, but it's something that we don't like to talk about because it's not really sexy, it's not really fun, but it's something essential that we need to talk about with our customers. So yeah, we know about the protein being clean, we know about the sugar being a low glycemic index in organic, but the fiber is something really important to talk about with those digestive enzymes, with those pro and prebiotics, and that's what gets people kind of moving, regular, and when they're going to the bathroom, they feel amazing. And I tell you, if you ask a customer, you don't have to say, how often do you go to the bathroom? Don't do that on Instagram. But what you could do is you can say, do you have any upper GI issues? Or you tell your story, because 70% of the patients I see have constipation, reflux, uh, irritable bowel, and they don't want to talk about it until I ask. So you got to ask or somehow pitch it in a nice, easy way. All right. So those are just some of the ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and, and that's really good that you brought it up. And Corey's right. You, you said it. Muscles are sexy. And um, for me, I'll, I'll just show you my little story is vegan since I was 15, thought I was super healthy, but I had been constipated for years and in pain, digestive bloating, like all that stuff. And it was Shakeology that did it for me because I didn't have those essential fibers. I didn't have all of the healthy pro and prebiotics that I could have that my stomach didn't just, you know, reject because I don't digest animal proteins and all those things very well. So Shakeology Vegan was literally a lifesaver for me and a gut saver. So I am happy to share mine and I'm no longer like scared about talking about going to the bathroom. In fact, I'm very, very happy for Shakeology. <laughs> so, and this is recorded, so everyone got to hear about my poop story. There you go. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm, we're going to talk about the bars, you guys. Like, I think that is the question that a lot of people have, but I wanted to um, talk... <laughs> product placement. Um, I really wanted to make sure that we covered the other questions that are not bar related. And the other one is what truly is the difference between recover and recharge? Yes. Excellent question. And I've got my recover recharge right here. Let's see. Orange one, two, and you team orange or team chocolate. Like, oh yes. I'm not messing around. Yeah. Orange or okay. I'll go with chocolate because chocolate and orange are pretty much the same formula. It's a slightly different taste. Well, it's clearly different taste. Okay, so here is our recover, and here's recharge. So you want to think fast and slow, okay? And we'll talk about Energize as well. This is a phenomenal product because, first of all, let's go with recover. Recover has a very unique blend in it. It's a, it's, you'll see this tri-blend of fast-acting whey protein. Whey is simply a dairy protein. Again, very clean. That's sourced really in a great way. And whey, when you, let's say, finish a workout, as soon as you finish your 80-day obsession or your Pyo or your Shantif workout or whatever you're doing, when you, cons when you consume this, the whey protein gets into the muscle tissue very quickly. So when you drink it, whey is readily absorbed because our bodies recognize it as a protein that we like to absorb. So whey is fast. I always say, imagine if I kicked a hole in the wall right behind me, you'd want to quickly patch up the hole in the wall. That's what Recover does. It quickly starts to repair that protein because every time you exercise, you damage muscle tissue. 
Even if you're not exercising, if you're just busy, on the go mom, taking your kids to school and you're walking downstairs, guess what? You're damaging muscle tissue when you're chasing those kids around. So it, it happens. So it doesn't have to be you doing 15 reps with Autumn. It could be walking to school with the kids, trying to chase them around the store. Muscle tissue is damaged all throughout the day. The beauty is when you give it good nutrition and as you sleep, that protein is feeding the muscle tissue, building up the wall really strong. And then when you wake up, you're ready to chase the kids around or go do your 80 day obsession again. So the recover is very fast acting. So it's a blend of that way. It's got a little bit of something called micellar casein. Don't need to worry about that. It's right there on the label. All right. And you'll notice also the pea protein. So it's this blend. All right. But think the way is the fast acting as opposed to recharge, which is slower acting. You take this at night. And the reason why you want to take this when you're going to sleep, remember I talked about kicking the hole in the wall. We've already covered up the surface, but inside at night when you're sleeping and you've taken your recharge, think about there's a carpenter behind that wall putting in some new drywall, putting in another layer of two by fours, putting the structural reinforcement. That's what recharge does. It's slowly, as you're sleeping, that micellar casein, which is really, this is rich in, micellar casein slowly gets absorbed, really builds up the muscle tissue strong. So by the time you wake up, you feel amazing. Two other points. What makes us unique from a lot of other companies, we use Recover with pomegranate. So that is a phytonutrient, a plant-based nutrient, which reduces inflammation when you exercise, all that soreness. And in Recharge, we use tart cherry. So the tart cherry reduces the inflammation and the a delayed onset of muscle soreness. And that's why on the label, you notice these legal claims that we're allowed to make by United States law, um, sp uh, speeds muscle recovery, combats exercise-induced muscle soreness, and improves muscle strength and recovery. We would never write that. The U.S. standards are very tight on a Federal Trade Commission um, laws about promoting you know what you can say this is because we we can physically make those claims in, in the u.s okay uh canada and the uk are, are are slightly different but for the most part we make very similar claims okay if you have business in those countries so recover fast acting sorry recover fast acting recharge a little bit uh, slower acting but it's that one two punch right after the workout and then you can have the other one at night and it's slowly building on muscle tissue I'm just really glad we have smart people that work for Beachbody. <laughs> so, like, like pomegranate. Yeah, I love it. Oh, it's inflammatory. Like it, it combats inflammation. Awesome. Tart cherry. I actually, I'm on a tennis team and some of the ladies were talking about getting these really rare cherries to help them. And I was like, um, got it in something, you know, called recharge, but that's cool. You can pay your ridiculous amount for a bag of cherries that whatever. So we have it in there. Um, okay, next question. Okay, you guys are just not gonna kick me, but all right. This is a question that's near and dear to my heart, and Shanna is my other vegan sister. Um, and I, I, you probably don't have an answer, but hey, we're gonna ask it. Is there, are there plans to make the performance line vegan or any of the other like? Um, I was on the test group for the bars, and I was like, team vegan. <laughs> Nope. I'm <laughs> also allergic to nuts, so I'm kind of like double whammy there. But um, hey, they smell great and my kids love them, so there you go. But are there plans to move that way eventually? Yeah, that's a, that's a very, in fact, every, by the way, every single coach call I've done in the last two weeks, that question's come up. So <laughs> you were all spot on, and it's a great thing because this is what your customers are asking for, and this is what your new coaches are asking. So absolutely. It is in, I can't say it's in development because we don't have it made, but we have our team of scientists and it takes not just scientists, but it takes food chemists who know how to blend stuff and put together a bar or put together a shake and make it taste right. So not, so the chemist can just, we can just put a vegan shake together, but if it doesn't look good, doesn't taste good, doesn't smell good, it's not going to sell. So we're, we are investigating the vegan recover, excuse me, vegan performance products such as recover, because we know everyone's asking for that, especially with 80 day obsession. And we're looking at if we could do a vegan bar wouldn't happen this year, 
but if we could make it happen in the near future, we'd like to do it. So I guess the short answer is yes, we're investigating. If we can do it, we definitely want to service all of you because that's what your customers are asking for. And uh, I would say stay tuned so, and give us a little time. But definitely, we know there's a big market and we certainly don't want to lose one of your customers to another company that might have that. So we want to fill that gap. This means vegans are tougher because we do all the workouts without recharge. So that's basically the moral of the story. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get to the bars, shall we? There are so many questions, starting with, are the bars kosher? Mm -hmm. So the bars are not kosher. We have not certified our bars kosher. They're gluten-free. So the two major things you want to think about with the bars right now, so not kosher. And we've had a couple questions. We had, a group, we had, a, a, we had some concerns about should we, have, should we try and certify them kosher or not. It's a very long process if we start doing kosher products, which is a great process. It's just a matter of if you have a lot of kosher communities that you're servicing. I think the growth of vegan has been huge, not because there's a lot of new vegans out there, but moms want clean labels. And when they see vegan, they know it's clean label. There's going to be a lot of things that are not in that product. So that's good. Kosher, we checked with our test groups. It didn't, it wasn't really resonating with a lot of our coaches, but it's something to think about in the future. So as long as we know there's a market, we want to look into it. But with the bar, to answer that specific question, think gluten-free. That's where we got certified. That's one of the things, gluten-free with the bars. Also, low glycemic index, which we talked about earlier. And another question, which I think I saw pop up on your feed in the chat earlier, was on palm oil. Mm -hmm. I think you have a question on palm oil. And we are going to certify that our palm oil comes from sustainable sources. And I, I can talk about that. Uh, now or a little bit later if you'd like. But a lot of your customers are going to ask about that. In fact, why don't I do that now? So gluten-free and um, low glycemic index. When it comes to the palm oil, the important one of the questions your, your customers may ask is, um, where does the palm oil come from? Is it sustainable? Now, the reason why a lot of customers know about this is, I don't know if many of you have ever had a chocolate hazelnut spread that you can put on toast. It's called Nutella. Have you ever seen Nutella? Okay, it's, an, it's a European uh, um, uh, product, but a lot of folks in America love it. Now, a few years ago, Nutella, which is delicious, was uh, if uh, customers found out that they were using palm oil, which gives that creamy texture, but it was from a non-sustainable source, which simply means they were buying it from Southeast Asia, which is Indonesia, Malaysia, and the, the rainforest that they were taking this palm kernel oil from was being destroyed, and there was a lot of endangered species being hurt. So a lot of customers decided, we're not gonna, we're gonna boycott Nutella. So in Europe and in the US, a lot of the sales went down, which was kind of crazy, because it's the first time that food companies started paying attention to, like, why does anyone care about sustainable you know, sources of oil? It was a big message for the food industry, so everyone started to check, is their, their palm oil sustainable? So we made sure that we were putting a little bit of palm oil, which gives the bars a nice texture. It gives it a nice uh, mouthfeel, makes it the, the chocolate taste real creamy. We made sure that the palm, palm oil that we buy is from a sustainable source in uh, Southeast Asia. That's where our, our uh, scientists will fly there. They'll check the sourcing. They'll make sure that it's done right. It's all ethical. There aren't any like, you know, let's say kids working in the forest or something like that. They make sure everything is ethical and sustainable. And the last point is they make sure that the way that they process the palm oil is not heat treated, where they heat it up to a very high temperature and some byproducts, sometimes bad byproducts can come out of this heating process. So they do not do that either. We ensure the palm oil is not heated over 200 degrees. So those are two questions your customers may ask. We put it in the FAQs. You don't have to worry about it here. You can just go to the palm oil FAQ. But um, if you hear it from a customer say, oh, Luigi said something, okay, it's sustainable. It's not hurting the, the rainforest, and we're going to have a certification for that. And it's not heated over 200 degrees, so it doesn't have any unhealthy byproducts. It's a wholesome source. So I just mentioned that because that's probably the most commonly asked question you're going to get on certification of ingredients. That's a great question and a great answer, honestly. Um, I 
I have a couple of questions about the cost of the beach bar. People are getting pushed back on the price. And um, as you know, I mentioned it before, I was in one of the focus groups and we talked about how many bars we buy. Do we get them at Sam's? Do we order them on Amazon? Do we, have, do we buy them in bulk? Like what is the cost and breaking it down? And um, I, a lot of these coaches have polled people, like give me your favorite bar. And I went and I researched everything and people are willing to pay you know, 250 sometimes for ingredients that are not as good as ours, but some people have a reason. Some people just like what they like, but I would like to know, and many people have asked this question, um, they're getting a lot of pushback on the price. In fact, Christina, I mean, took herself to Whole Foods and tried to compare and could not find a bar that cost, um, and Trader Joe's, no bar costs more than the beach bar. Why is that? Right, right. So, so we wanted to make sure the price for the full retail. I think the full retail is two. Is it two sixty five? Yeah, two sixty five. And the coach price is about a dollar ninety nine in the U.S. Now, remember the bars. If you do have a uh, business in Canada and the U.K., it's going to be look. You know, it's got to be sort of uh, converted to the right uh, um, amount of money. But think U.S. because what we're. I think most of the coaches here in the U.S. Uh, so it comes down to ingredients and of course, you know, there's the coach price that you can use that to compare, which is about $1.99 uh, because many, most of you are coaches, but think about the ingredients and excuse me, how we source those ingredients. Very important. And I always say, if you're having the conversation about ingredients, I would start with first the top four bars that we, we went up against in the industry as snack bars. Okay. So why did we create this bar? First off, it's categorized as a snack bar, and that snack bar category is $7 billion, with a B, $7 billion category. It's a huge category. So I know a lot of the questions you're gonna get are on Quest Bar. Quest Bars are very popular. Those are loaded with protein, so a customer's gonna say, hey, I can get more protein for about the same price, why not, you know, a Quest Bar? Well, it's a different category. It's not a snack bar. It's like a muscle bar. Uh, and those are loaded with artificial sweeteners, which we're going to talk about in a second, and a lot of other bad stuff. So our bar, first off, is in a different category. It's in the category 7 billion with Lara Bar, Cliff Bar, RX Bar, and Kind Bar. Okay, so those are the popular ones that a lot of our coaches love. And those are good bars. We're not knocking those. But the beauty is if you take a look at the top of your box, you're going to notice when you open it, you're going to have some points that you have. 150 calories, 10 grams of protein, no trans fats, 4 grams of fiber, and gluten-free. Okay? So when you compare, if you take the 150 calories and we compare apples to apples, any of those four top snack bars, Lara, Cliff, Kind, and RX, we compare these things and calorie for calorie, we have more protein, we have more fiber, and we have less sugar. So to your, to your question, uh, and to the, the coach's question, they, it's just a better bar because it's sort of intelligent snacking, the way we, we built it. Okay, it's a, so it's a better bar when you compare against the four top snack bars in the industry. And those are making a ton of money. And, and they're good bars. We're not knocking them. Our bar is better and our bar tastes really good. So I would say first, that's one reason. And um, that, that doesn't really go specifically to your price, but you have to understand some of those bars are smaller, uh, which may be, you know, they, they use less amounts of materials um, or they're just not sold through a network like ours where there is the, I would say the, the the additional um, service provided by the coach, which you, is, it's an important part of the, the delivery system of this product. Um, I always say bars are great if they sit on a shelf, but the shelf can't talk to you. Whereas a coach can talk to you five times a day, answer your phone calls, post on Instagram, and answer the questions, or talk to Carl Deichler, or get us on training calls. So there's a, there is an additional value um, for really not nothing significant to having you coaches 
being able to talk about the products. So I always say a shelf only collects dust. It does not train or educate or it doesn't inspire. So I think that's a really important point. But if you just look at the ingredients, always go back to the top of the box, talk about those four snack bars and show them. And by the way, you'll have this marketing material on Instagram and you can download it. Our bars are higher in protein, calorie for calorie, higher in fiber, lower in sugar, no trans fats, gluten free, and low glycemic index certified. A lot of people don't have that. So I would say very important and it's hard to make that type of bar often, especially with a low glycemic index. No, I think it's great. And my, my kids are really picky. I'm looking to see if they're listening. And I was like, try this bar and tell me what you think. Like, try the bar. <laughs> and my daughter, who is like, so she said, it's the best thing I've ever had from Beach Body. And I was like, yes. Yeah, I know. Yes. So that made me really happy. And then someone stole it from her lunch today. And I was like, give them out. Like, share them. I'll give you a box. What do you need? <laughs> if they want more, here you go. <laughs> um, that great, and that's a great point, Lauren, because the bar is for all family members. Now, my, my daughter, who's a little bit over four and a, and a third, she's approaching four and a half, she eats these bars like they're, you know, like it's candy because um, she thinks it's just candy. She doesn't know it's a nutritious, wholesome snack that I'm getting healthy protein, and wonderful phytonutrients and nut butters and mono and saturated fats. But I want her, I, we put it in her school lunchbox as well. And I know some kids are probably sharing stuff. So it's wonderful. So if your moms at your, your kids' schools are asking for this bar, what a great way to retail the bar, right? So through the word of mouth. So, but the bar is for everyone. Adults and kids can have this bar. There's no restrictions in the US and I don't think there are any restrictions in Canada. The UK is very strict about, about uh, kids. So I'm gonna check on that if any of you have business in England. So let, let me get back to that. But in the US, go bananas. Give this bar to, to everybody. Um, talk to me about day, oh, I, I said you guys have 20 minutes and he's catching a flight. So if you have questions, you gotta tell me. Um, I did see your comment on the round table about the performance line being um, accepted for the military in the UK. There's a different designator. I knew that that was an issue. We're a military family as well, and we have to be careful because of, you know, random drug tests and things. But um, I love that I can have some of the things energizes like my coffee, and if you take it away from me, I will get catty. Someone said that people who were complaining of being catty and um, irritable when they had energize, and Corey and I agree, we get catty if we don't have it. So, you know, <laughs> give me all the energize. But... Um, you have a question about, talk to me about Daily Sunshine. People, people I, who've tried it don't like the chalky taste. Um, and what's the best recipe? Christina, do you mean for Daily Sunshine? Daily Sunshine. I'm going to let her. Yes. Okay. She means, what's, what is, okay, you have little kids. Mine are like 17 and 14. Um, what do you, what, how do you make it for your daughter? And how does your wife make it? So I, so, in the, so I drink chocolate vegan. I'm not vegan at all. Uh, I love ribeye steaks. I love pork chops. I love bacon. I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm a meat eater. What I will mention before I get to the daily sunshine question is that since I've been in Beachbody, because I have oatmeal and I have my chocolate vegan in the morning, my kids have daily sunshine and my wife will drink the daily sunshine shake. We use the strawberry banana. I drink my chocolate, the kids love strawberry banana, and we put spinach in there, or kale. Spinach, we like spinach a little bit more because we just feel it blends better in there, and it's a way to get greens into my kid's shake in the morning. Uh, and so we just put like, we throw them right in the shake with some ice. No, we blend it with water. We don't use milk nor almond milk. We actually stopped drinking dairy milk since I've been in this company. I use almond milk here in Beachbody headquarters. I make my shakes here with almond milk. Uh, and we have something called Trader Joe's out here in, in the West Coast. And those are kind of organic, a lot of uh, non-dairy alternatives. So, so we've changed our diet a lot. To, so that's how we make Daily Sunshine. The just regular scoop, um, uh, spinach or kale, whatever they got in Trader Joe's. We usually, I like, you know, I think the taste of spinach, my kids prefer it. Um, my wife may put some frozen veggies in there, like some pineapple, some mango. She wants to sweeten it up. Uh, for the kids, but we use water or we'll use ice if she's not doing uh, some frozen veggies to, excuse me, frozen fruits, sorry, 
frozen fruits that will act as ice to make it nice and cold. And my kids love it. Now, technically my son is turning three in May, and I'm always supposed to say if your kids are under four, uh, me as a physician, I have the right to give my kid what we believe is right. But under four, I'm supposed to say as a, as a, you know, a representative of the company, we're not supposed to promote products. But I know my three-year-old loves drinking Daily Sunshine, and my four-and-a-half-year-old goes to town on it. So that's for that. Now, if you're having the chocolate, I just think the ch chocolate's delicious. But if you're having the chocolate, it's, if it's a little chalky, uh, what I would recommend if you can find a non-dairy milk that you like, almond milk is low in protein but higher in sugar. That's why a lot of moms do a little bit of almond milk. I know a lot of folks do not like soy in Beachbody, so if you can find an organic soy or if you just want to avoid the soy because the phytoestrogens, so no, maybe no soy milk. But um, you, know, you can find a rice milk, and the milk provides a little bit of texture, and if you like dairy milk, that's cool. That helps to blend some of that grainy uh, that you may feel with Daily Sunshine. We don't get that with the strawberry banana because we're putting in the, the fruits and vegetables and you know, when you put frozen pineapple, frozen mango or ice, it blends it up and it's nice and kind of not slushy, but it's nice and smooth. So I would say add something cold, whether it's ice or your frozen uh, uh, fruits. That's, what, that's just what the, my personal recommendation. I always heard people use frozen banana in the chocolate and that helped with the chalky. Um, mm. I am a weirdo and I make my shake exactly the same way every day. I'm a vegan vanilla shakeology girl and I use frozen cherries and water. I don't do any kind of, I'm allergic to nuts, no nut milk, no dairy milk, no bleh. So water, water comes out of my tap, milk does not. So I'm lazy and I don't like going to the store a lot. <laughs> And water works for me, but the frozen fruits, like Luigi was saying, that made all the difference. And it was my ice, and then it wasn't slushy. So I am team fruit with chocolate and vanilla right here, and it's the bomb. Um, yeah, banana helps for sure, especially if it's frozen. What about gas? Oh, <laughs> Daily Sunshine gives me gas. <laughs> That's I Santa, not me. <laughs> That, I'll, I always say that means the probiotic is working. And the probiotic that we use in Daily Sunshine is the exact same probiotic that we put in Shakeology, which is called Bacillus Coagulans. And uh, it, well, it may actually, it may be some other things, but it could be the load of protein. Some people aren't used to a lot of protein coming down the pipe and the body sometimes may say, whoa, and cause a little bit of gas. But, uh, or it may be the probiotic. Generally, people, I notice their gas goes away when they're using Daily Sunshine or Shakeology because the probiotic helps to kind of keep things cool and move things along. Um, but so it depends on how folks do it. If they're getting real gassy, I would say dial it down a little bit. You can cut the scoop down a little bit, make it smaller and see how they do. Yeah, I can't imagine having Shakeology and Daily Sunshine in one day because I think Shakeology would be enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what else were you going to circle back and talk about? I can't remember what it was. You were going to talk about so You mentioned energize about like being, uh, you know, get a little, uh, maybe not irritated, whatever that you say, catty. So I, I want to give a little promo for energize for, because many of you are business builders. You're doing a retail business. You're building your home-based business of all the performance products. This has the highest retention of all the performance products. I want to say that again. If you're building your home business and you started 80 Day Obsession, just finished it, and you're excited about starting your home-based business, highest retention of all the exercise, the performance products is in, is in Energize. That means when you start a new customer, even if you don't even, you met them on, online, they will stay on Energize the longest of all of them. Why? Well, they're all great products. We think it's to, your, to Lauren's point about how they feel. People drink it. And it's like, it not only gets them ready for the workout, but it can replace their coffee. So what's in it? Why is it so special? Natural form of caffeine. And we get that from green tea, and we get that also from uh, coffee bean extract. So natural form of caffeine, again, clean sourcing. Uh, you know, I don't know if I can use the word pure, because everything has a little bit of processing in it, but clean sourcing, natural uh, coffee, and natural green tea caffeine. That's big. A lot of these uh, energy drinks use synthetic caffeine, and that's not very good, okay? So number one. Number two, we use something called beta alanine. You don't have to write it down. It's right on your label, beta alanine. It's that first uh, in the performance blend, 
Okay, beta alanine. Now, when you drink it and you feel that morning tingle in your skin or in your toes or wherever you get that tingle, that's the beta alanine. What does it mean? It's actually really cool. Beta alanine converts into something called carnosine, and you don't have to memorize that, but carnosine buffers lactic acid. So when you're doing your 80-day obsession and you're doing, and Autumn's like, give me 15, and you're on number seven, you're like, I'm gonna fatigue, I'll never make it. The beta alanine and the carnosine lower the lactic acid so you don't have as much production, and that's what allows you to not fatigue. So the tingle feeling would people get means that you're actually not going to fatigue when you're doing repetitions. That's huge. And that's why it says it can improve intense exercise performance on the label. That's a legal American claim that we're allowed to make because of the beta alanine. Really, really important. Another thing I'll mention, all natural, in all the Beachbody products, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, no artificial uh, uh, sweeteners, because everything is pure and natural, just like the quercetin, that funky, strong color that some people say, whoa, I spilled a little bit of my Energized or I spilled my Hydrate, and my shirt has got this really strong color. That's natural coloring, okay? It's not artificial, and it's a phytonutrient, which helps as an antioxidant. Last thing I'll mention is my, one of my favorite ingredients is called magnesium citrate. You're gonna see like citrus, like citrus and magnesium, You'll see it on the label, magnesium citrate. We put a little smidgen in there. Uh, and magnesium does about 300 different things in the human body. It talks to the brain. It helps with muscle contractions. Uh, if any of you who've had children, if you've gone in for um, early labor uh, and you're like, I'm, gonna, I'm delivering this baby, and the doctor says, you're not ready, they give you magnesium because magnesium relaxes the uterine muscles. If someone goes in with chest pain, we give them magnesium in the emergency room because it cools out the muscle tissue. Kids who come in with asthma, we give them magnesium in the IV. It relaxes the lungs. So why do we use magnesium? It relaxes muscle tissue so you don't get cramping. You feel really great, and it's a fantastic premium ingredient. You will not see magnesium citrate in a lot of other sports products. It's a, very, it's a difficult thing to source, and it's a premium ingredient. That's why Beachbody is so awesome, because we use magnesium citrate. So I love uh, Energize, but it looks cool. It tastes great. People use it because they get results, and this is the highest retention of all of your performance products if you're a business builder. Okay, Just want to mention that. Um, I'm in complete agreement, and I order multiple. I even got my coach, Lashana, completely hooked, and it's bad. Um, I, I do not apologize, but we do have one question about Energize. Autumn said something about only using one scoop. Is it bad to do a right. scoop in the a.m. and maybe again in the afternoon? I use three at once, so I feel it's fine. <laughs> so, so if you're looking on the label, you're going to notice one scoop is 100 milligrams of caffeine. If you're doing two scoops, that's 200 milligrams of caffeine. Now, in Beachbody, we recommend that you're doing about 400 milligrams of caffeine maximum in one day, okay? Now, so that's, that's our recommended. And by the way, kids are drinking soda a lot, not, in not our Beachbody kids, right? But a lot of kids are drinking soda, they're drinking energy drinks. Kids, when I was a kid, no one went to coffee houses because we didn't have them, but kids are having these big lattes. So the, the point is that even pediatricians are okay with kids having upwards of several hundred milligrams of caffeine. It's not gonna hurt them. It's gonna make them a little excited, right? So kids or adults, but especially adults who are coaches, think about having two scoops twice a day would be the maximum I would recommend, or two scoops in the morning. If you wanna do three, that's cool too, all right? And if you do focused energy, a scoop of that, a lot of people say they use Energize in the afternoon to pick up their kids or to get their daily chores done. But um, there's no problem with 300. Now, Autumn will say in any day of session, she, like you said, Lauren, she recommends about one scoop, that's 100 milligrams, just because she's, again, looking for the results. She doesn't want people to get too, um, I guess, they don't, she doesn't want people to rely on Energize like a crutch. But I always say, find your sweet spot. If you're a coach who's over 160 uh, pounds, we recommend two scoops on the label. So it really depends on what you want to do. The reason why Autumn and the super trainers make recommendations is they want you to get results. So they have their results protocol, and you can go a little bit, you know, try and follow them. But if you want to do three scoops, it's your 
God-given right to do what you want to do, okay? <laughs> you can do what you like, but we just make these recommendations. That's all. That's, that's, that's what we say that. I'm really just excited to know why Energize is so awesome because I was already a team Energize, but when you break it down and you talk about it combats fatigue, um, you know, lowers your lactic acid, natural caffeine. I don't drink coffee anymore, but this is what I tell people. I start my day with a 16 ounce bottle of water with Ener well, actually a 32 ounce thing of water with all of that Energize in it and one scoop of hydrate. I start my day with all of that. So I'm hydrated, I am ready for my workout, and I, I also use it as kind of like accountability. If I'm gonna drink that, I better do something with it. So I'm like, this is about to kick in, and I better use it, so it's added accountability for me to work out and get my workout and you know use all the benefits of that. Plus, I have asthma, and I have had less asthmatic problems since having energized. I should be an infomercial. And then, um, <laughs> and then Amy just said like she has less fatigue in her muscles, like, I'm just telling you, we should have, like, Energize is amazing. It really is. And, um, yeah. Do you mix – I do. I mix Energize and Hydrate together. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I like the way it tastes, and I'm allowed to do what I want, Luigi said. So there you go. And I'm not on Energize right now. I had it way this morning. This is just me naturally. Um, <laughs> are you literally – you have to go in seven minutes. Or this call had to be done by five because you're getting no. a plane. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, by the way, if you if we go a little bit over, I'm fine. I'm just driving home to my because out here in California, it's not even five o'clock. I go home, have dinner with the family, then I'm going to pack for for Mexico tomorrow. So, and then if I see any of you in in Mexico, if you're with your family, you can stop me and say, "Hey, give, give me ten minutes of training." If you're with your group, I'm going to be there till Saturday. We can do plenty of little sidebar conversations. It's up to you. I'm sorry, I totally misunderstood. I thought you weren't going home because your daughter is sick, <laughs> and you were like, "I'm at the office." Peace out. <laughs> so you're going home to have to be with them. Okay, yeah. I got it. Um, yes, Gatorade or Hydrate is a clean version of Gatorade. And I, I, I actually was able to help my tennis team a lot because I live in Florida. And there are times when the heat index is super high. These women were not hydrating. They're like, I just have to have water the night before. And I was like, no, we had one who um, we had to put ice in her shirt to cool her core down and one who was sent to the ER for heat um, stroke and it was scary you guys and so after that they're like Lauren you never get like I mean you sweat but you are able to last for three sets you have energy out the wazoo and I'm like thank you I've been telling you <laughs> so it's we get to show we are proof of the product when we use these things to show that we are able to outlast and we're not dying the next day because we don't have the muscle fatigue, the cramps. And we can say, you guys, this is why I am in great shape or why I'm able to perform at this level because our stuff is better than anything else out there. And I'm like, hello, yes. <laughs> it's a great point. Um, by the way, your point about hydration and, and any other questions I'm happy to answer, but your point about hydration is really important. A lot of people are just getting their one and a half liters a day and they're chronically hydrated. The problem is the natural thirst mechanisms that we feel as humans, they don't, they can't keep up with the deficient, the deficit that we have in the body from heat and exercise. Everyone's exercising, almost everyone in beach body. So we're always a little bit of a deficit. So hydrate really helps to drive, those electrolytes and fluid into the tissues so you're well hydrated. So in addition to your energize, I like the idea of making sure you have hydrate. And you got to have two liters minimum, probably three or four liters uh, a day is more appropriate. So lots of fluid with your hydrate. Yeah. So I just love how that flows seamlessly into like 2B mindset and this whole mentality that Beachbody has about we're not just trying to push you to buy stuff. Like we are trying to teach you a healthy lifestyle, something that is sustainable. And I think that is such a key word that we need to use more, you guys. Sustainable. It's mm -hmm. so important. And I love that you used it with a lot of different products and ingredients because each body is different than anything else. And that's why you came to us, right? Um, because of our quality. And that's why the cost is a little bit higher is because we have the relationship. Um, yeah. Okay. Shanna, what are your thoughts about NRF2 activator? Oh my God. Will we ever add this to our product? I love this. I like science behind our products. Why we use certain things? 
Uh, great question, which I do not have an answer at this time for, because <laughs> I'm not, I'm actually, I have to be honest with you, I'm not familiar with that, so I, I can look into it, and um, I'll research it tonight, and if you can just, Lauren, if you could email it to me, uh, in, in any of the questions, or um, I'll just, or many of you, maybe you want to be directly on Facebook anyway, and I, uh, I can answer you on Facebook just like I answered the military question when he posted yeah. So last question. What is your favorite? Hmm, what should I ask him, guys? His favorite product or his favorite workout? What should we ask? First person. Oh, can I pitch something to you while you're thinking about it? The floor is yours. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite things that I realize a lot of coaches don't know about this, the the process, which may sound boring at first, but I think it's so important, and this is what Darren and Isabel have been talking about a lot, is the, te the sourcing and testing before you get the bag at your door, if, it, it's, if it's home direct ship. Um, if I can do that for one minute, and then I can even answer another question. Okay, so take your any, let's do daily, uh, let's do Shakeology. So this is exciting about Shakeology. Very complex, 60 plus ingredients. Darren and Isabel, superfood hunter Darren that you're going to see in Summit, talking about all these incredible ingredients. Um, and we're warming up for an incredible stage presentation for all of you if, when you come to Summit. Darren and Isabel, I don't want to give anything away, but they're, they're going to be going just all kinds of information. So first, it's a three-step process on testing before you get the bag. And this should give you a tremendous amount of confidence. It explains why we're so premium. Step one is what we call ingredient sourcing. And this is when I talked to you about that guy flying over to Indonesia to check on the palm oil. Nobody does that. But more importantly, he also, all of, our, in all of our scientists, they go out to the ingredient manufacturer and they make sure that the ashwagandha is really ashwagandha. Or they go to check on the sacha inchi or whatever Darren and Isabel chose to go in the, in the bag. We have to fly there to ensure it's the real deal. So that's ingredient identification. It's an auditing procedure. A lot of people just order the ingredient. They, take, they check the paperwork and they said, oh, it looks like rice protein. Okay, let's put it in the bag. Not us. We fly to the person or we drive there, check the ingredient. That's number one. So step one is ide I ingredient identification. Step two is we, we bring the ingredients into the blending facility where we're going to blend it all together. And then before we blend, we do 60, 60, 60 independent tests on each batch of ingredient. So we take the rice protein, the sacha inchi, the flax, the ashwagandha, and we do 60 ingredient tests on each batch of each of those ingredients, okay? So that makes sure that, number one, the stuff that we bought is still the stuff that they shipped us. Number one, they didn't put cardboard, uh, shavings or baking soda and fill it up with something and a lot of people do that in the industry so number one and we test for excipients those are things that may be uh, fillers or things that that are toxins that we, that we don't want in there so 60 independent tests then the step three is we blend everything together and after we blend we test each final batch 300 individual times so it's ingredient identification step one Step two is 60 tests before we blend. And then step three is 300 tests after blending, and then it's shipped fresh to your door, okay? And on top of that, last point, I'm gonna stop. Performance blend is also tested for banned substances. So if you have a family member in the military who can't have any banned substances, like amphetamines, who can, uh, and a professional athlete, a collegiate athlete, or even a high school athlete, you're talking to a coach, you want to ensure. So we do that extra fourth step, ban substance, and it gets shipped to your door. So that's one of the most exciting things to me. I know it, it's kind of a geeky thing, like scientists are like, but it's a big confidence piece for coaches when you're talking to someone and they ask, why is the bag over 100 bucks? I don't get it. You have to tell them about all the work we do before we even get the sources. It's big. So that's probably the secret. Did you tell us the secret? That's the secret. <laughs> that is actually not nerdy at all. That's pretty cool. 
because it just gives, like I just said in the chat, it gives us way more confidence when people do have price objections that we can say, this is why we are set apart. This is why we are different. And I can break it down from you, for you and tell you our four-step process, our three-step process, and why you know you're getting the best and why I can stand behind it because I give it to my kids and I share it with everybody and I use it myself. Um, so yeah, love the value, not geeky at all. Um, last question, what's your favorite beach body workout and your favorite trainer? Wow, so I have to, I have to tell you, the, the only workout I've done, and this is gonna make you guys laugh, is three week yoga retreat. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you why I did three. You're like, what? Three weeks? What are you, an old guy? What are you, 70? So when I came to the company, Carl asked me, um, hey, we want to shoot, uh, we want to shoot uh, uh, um, some more commercials, and we want to use you as maybe our doctor in the commercial just for like 10 seconds talking about, because we already have this yoga doctor. We want a family medicine doctor. So let's do some outtake. And I said, yeah, I'd love to shoot it. No problem. I'll, I'll do it. What, what do you need me to do? He's like, well, you have to do a three-week yoga retreat. I'm like, Really? He's like, yeah, you got to do the workout. So I had already seen some of the Shanti Insanity years ago. Uh, a friend of mine had it. And so I, I, had, I can't say I did the full thing. I, I had done some of the workouts. And I, of course, everyone who's my age had known about Tony Horton. Tony Horton was like the dude. Uh, he was everywhere. You know, the president's wife worked out to Tony Horton. You know, people in Congress talk about doing a, a you know P ninety X. So this was a huge story. So Tony Horton, when I was first learning about Beachbody, I knew about the PX ninety stuff, and so a lot of my friends had those DVDs, and I would you know see the workouts. But to be honest, the only program I really finished was three week yoga retreat. And uh, so my wife's doing eighty day obsession, so I'm in the I'm in the house watching her do that. So. And you're watching her thing, her sexy muscles. You're yeah, like, yeah. Hey, I love this. <laughs> Tripping out of her head. I was like, honey, you have a two pack. Now you're going to get to six. She, I've never seen abdominal muscles. And she got that in 40 days because she started it late. She's not, she's not on, the, on the exact schedule. So she's still got, uh, she's only like 60% of the way through it. So, um, and we were just out, out here in California. We have this place called The Grove, which is like mm -hmm. a big mall. It used to be called the farmer's market. And, um, and one of the, the three week yoga instructors was walking through the other day. And you know, I worked for the company and we were like, we saw, it was like we saw Tom Cruise, a celebrity, like, oh my God, it's him. It's, and he was cruising by and shopping. We didn't want to bother him. I'm like, wait, I should go over and say hi. I, I, he's a colleague. So, so the, point is, the point is that uh, everyone has their own favorite. So I just talked to um, uh, one of the trainers that did a training call and she's a big Shanti advocate. And I promised her I'm gonna do Sean Week before I go to summit. So I have to do Shauna week. Um, my wife is doing 80 day obsession. Sometimes I get with the sliders in the bedroom and I'll do some of the workouts with her. But that's hard. I <laughs> tell you, it's really hard. It hurts. It's doing things you're like, I don't know about this. And right. she's like, just stand on the sliders. And you're like, I will fall on my butt. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really hard. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like, oh, this autumn stuff can't be difficult for a guy. It's really hard for guys that jumping, Cardio flow on the weekends yeah. is hard. She, yeah. it's really hard. So I'm going to start with, with Sean Week. Uh, I'll try that by the time I see you guys at Summit, and I will be able to tell you more. But right now, my answer is three-week yoga retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, gosh, we just are so thankful for you taking the time and taking so much time. And for, I mean, I really wasn't prepared. I have a sheet that I now have to dissect everything <laughs> I wrote. But um, I feel really honored that I got to leave this call with you guys. And like, like Luigi said, if you guys have questions, he is available and ready to serve us. Like, like uh, you and Carl said, it's, this is what you're here for. And we appreciate you for breaking it down and for giving us really great talking points because I think that's what we're looking for is how do we in layman's terms, not smart Dr. Luigi terms, relay this to all of our customers. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, everyone's just, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this was recorded, which I am yeah, so proud of myself for remembering. So we'll be able to share it. Otherwise we're going to do it again in just a minute. Luigi, you can't go home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys that's it thank you so much Luigi and we'll see you in Mexico thank you Lauren thank you all coaches and team members I hope to see you soon if I, if I don't see you please say hi walk up and introduce yourself I'd love to meet you and I'll see you all soon bye